I don't know why I'm sitting in my living room when it's only 62 degrees and I'm sitting by a fire. Kind of sweat. I think I'm going to buy a new piece of ground. I need to go talk to the owner. But first, I need to do a little spraying, feed the cattle, of course. And Farmer Jim really needs me to start his tillage. So let's get to it. We're gonna head out here. Hi Buck, you sleeping? It's all right, we'll leave you alone then. So if you didn't see, we got a new feed truck. We're gonna jump into that and start feeding both our herds of cattle here. Man, this thing is nice. We'll talk about an upgrade. We'll let this run so the air pressure gets up. So the feed wagon we retired I just pushed back a little bit further and so it'll stay here we'll keep it around just in case this one breaks down or we ever need another feed wagon it's so convenient driving this truck it makes these corners really easy oh that woke her up there like she's gonna get up got some new food for you there all right so we'll go to our other pin here so I probably wouldn't have bought this feed truck unless I got such a great deal did get a great deal looks like we're gonna wake up these cattle too only paid 40k for this steal in my mind it was obviously uh, used prior but uh, had to just walk in our way huh get out of our way there these things are not bothered by a feed truck I'll tell you that I should actually put another gate somewhere on this side of this uh, feed pin. It's kind of hard going out the same gate. I would like a feed bunk possibly in this feed pin, but we'll worry about that in the future. Gotta shut this gate. So the good thing about being uh, in early spring and summer is uh, we got free feed on the ground here for their cattle. But I like giving them a little uh, TMR mix. So keep some extra healthy. Make sure that they have uh, nice big calves. All right, we'll shut that off here. So now we're gonna jump into our truck here and we're gonna take it to the co-op to fill it up with fertilizer. We need that to put on our uh, field over there so we can plant us some soybeans. Uh, my cousin, she's going to come down. She's going to cultivate that after we get done spraying. But we're going to try to hit uh, two birds with one stone here. Uh, I'm going to go talk to a guy about possibly purchasing a piece of land while we're on the way to the co-op. So this piece of land is actually uh, touching another piece of land of ours, or sort of. There's a small stream, and it's right on the other side of the stream. So I think it would be beneficial to us to uh, purchase it. Uh, don't know if it's a great deal or not, but land these days is just sky high. It's almost impossible to get started into farming. but. We're gonna try to grow this a little bit. I, I would like to do a little bit more grain farming. I don't wanna get too big uh, and then uh, get too much loan against us. So it is going to almost put us into the red, which isn't 
a bad thing, so... Uh, beans I'm working as a farmhand, you know, cattle. Usually, you only deal with money one time a year with cattle. And you sell your calves. So it's actually right over there. You can kind of see it. It's not this land, but it's the one you can see on the other side of them little bushes over there. think lives yep so he lives right over here so it's pretty nice place right here so pretty fancy nice little uh, quiet races they have here uh, I think we'll pull right here it's like, I don't want to get too far and have to back up. Alright, so we are new landowners of a new piece of ground. So, later today I'll try to take my bobcat and go show you which piece of land we actually bought. It's actually planted with barley right now, but we'll need to fertilize that. But they just planted it, so that's one less thing we'll have to do. Now, now's a question. Okay, I think I'll back this uh, trailer right over here and then take it to the co op. So, the co op, gotta fill up this uh, thousand gallon trailer behind us both ways. And then we should, we'll start spraying. And hopefully get that done so our cousin can start cultivating that. Hopefully tomorrow we can start planting some uh, soybeans. So we got our thousand gallon uh, trailer full. Now I'm feeling a little hungry so I think I'm going to go down to the diner. We'll get me some bacon and eggs. Yeah, that's some pretty green paint they have there. Maybe one day we'll own one of them new... Uh, green combines or tractors don't know why I'm turning in over here I could have just went right there in the little driveway Ooh, them were greasy that makes them good right so we'll go start spraying try to get the spraying done before the wind picks up running down here probably going a little bit fast for a thousand gallon uh, tank when you're pulling these things it really sloshes you back and forth I said this is the first time I uh, actually run this sprayer so it's kind of an old sprayer oh, it starts up nicely so don't have no time to waste here so we'll run directly over to our tank hook it up start filling up. I'm not sure how much this sprayer actually holds. Filling up there. So it looks like we hold 320 gallons. So basically a third of that uh, tank there. So the other day we got our corn planted so we'll have to put some uh, herbicide on that sometime so I'm hoping this is not going to be too bumpy because we do have this chiseled unfold our uh, wings here the sprayer doesn't go the fastest because of the pump and everything can't really go as fast so I know some of the new sprayers out there can easily go about 10 to 15 mile an hour, maybe even faster than that, if you could take that, uh, basically the field running faster than that. So, this, I don't know if you really want to run that fast with this old of a sprayer, because we are on trikes, so it would be awful, awful of a kidney shot to run this sprayer that quickly.
heading around here. So it looks like we are about, took about half of our uh, tank to make it around that first lap. So I'm hoping that we have enough that one fertilizer tank to uh, cover this whole field. Oh no. Might be off some. Might have to go get another run of fertilizer. It's, a, it's not too bumpy in this cab, so I'm pretty happy about that. Because this uh, chiseled field, it could be really bad here. Going by our nice little cabin there, by our stream. Haven't even had a chance to go fishing yet. It's unfortunate. Can hopefully catch some bass there uh, doing some uh, spring spawning. That would be a nice uh, treat for us. Getting down in gallons now, only close to five, so we're gonna run out over here. Right now we're just doing the headlands. I always do a lot of headlands when I'm spraying. Uh, it just makes it nice and easy. You don't have to worry about hitting a, oh, just ran out. Don't have to worry about hitting a tree with this many headlands. Uh, definitely don't want to hit a tree with these booms. We don't have a, uh, breakaway booms on here so we could do some serious damage. We'll run down to our uh, fertilizer tank there and fill this up again. Alright, uh, so we have to fill from the other side there. So we'll swing this around. There we go. Fill up the tank. Alright, filling her up. Already done. Wish we would have ran out of fertilizer closer to the end there. Guess we could just cut across here. There's no need to go around the field. We're just gonna cultivate it anyways. Finished up the field. Uh, didn't take us long whatsoever. So I have to give my cousin a call, see if she can come help me cultivate here quickly. And we will head over to Jim's. I think I'll get the first round started because she doesn't like doing headlands. So I'll go do the first round for her. And uh, Give her a call quickly. All right, let's go see if this Alice Charmer starts up. Uh. Oh man, battery's dead. We'll have to pull over our uh, battery charger here. That's a bummer. Put that on there. So we'll check out the chisel while that's uh, charging. Uh, tires are aired up. Not gonna be able to check them yet. That's for sure. Hmm. What do we do now? Oh man. 
Well, this is annoying. So I think this is a good opportunity to get our new tractor a try. So like I said, our 4440 is going to be our backup. I will try to unhook this uh, cultivator and somehow limp this tractor out of the way. Hello. Hey, uh, you think you can help me out today? I don't know, probably like an hour. The Starbucks line's really long. Uh-huh. Uh I see how it is. Uh, I need you to do some cultivating. I suppose I could. Do you need anything from Starbucks? No, I don't. Okay, I'll get there when I get there. Alright, thanks. Bye. All right, we actually got it started. Something's wrong with the alternator. It's not charging that battery, so I'm gonna go order a new one at the parts store, but I think we will just hook our 4440 up to our chisel for today. Let's see if this old girl starts. Oh yeah, nothing runs like a deer. Back up. Nothing's easier than hooking up a open cab tractor. There we go. Is it hooked up? Hope so. Alright. Let's take this over there and do the first headland. Poor Alice Chalmers over there. We'll get you fixed up here soon. Alright, now let's lower it. Now the question is, will this John Deere pull it? It's like it's doing the job there. So hopefully this thing can pull this large thing up the hills. I do like this is way easier than the articulated tractors, that's for sure. Really easy to see. We don't have no guidance steer around this farm, that's for sure. Now the question is, will it be able to pull this old cultivator up these big hills? Not the highest horsepower tractor out there, but a little bit more horsepower in our 4250, that's for sure. really like how this old cultivator really does a good job of prepping that soil. Nice and even and flat. So this, this tractor is going to have a little bit of hard time pulling up these hills. Really worried about that hill. That is quite the hill there. Might have to consider doing a contour on this field someday. This uh, cultivator's pretty dusty already. My cousin might have a pretty dirty face by the time she's done, so... One of them faces where you just kinda only see where you rubbed out the dirt from your eyes. Definitely had a few of them faces back in my day. So we called her, she should be on her way. We're almost done running this headland here. All right, I see her pulling up right now. She is racing up here, that's for sure. So, uh, I left the tractor running for her, so she should have no issues. There she goes. So she didn't put, she left her hair in the ponytail. That's how I like it. But, all right. So she, that should take her about a half hour or so. Not too much work there. Now we need to go over to Farmer Jim. He has a few jobs for us to do. 
head down to the road to Farmer Jim's. So we don't live too far from them. So what is it about? Five miles, so not too big of a distance, which is pretty convenient because I'm sure we're going to be running back and forth for light between jobs. So we're pulling in here to Jim's farmyard. Park over here. Go in there and see what he wants us to do. Alright, so first he wants us to uh, spray a field for him. We'll go in here. I uh, gotta wiggle around this big uh, cultivator there. And there we go. The sprayer looks like it's already filled up. So we'll head down to the field quickly. Well, this is nice. Talk about a major upgrade between the two sprayers I run today. Wow. Other uh, sprayer wasn't even close to this comfort. Still like our uh, John Deere 6000 there. We'll head down. So this field is a little ways down the road. The only bad thing about this sprayer is it is kind of inconvenient to run down these small roads around here. All right, we should be good. Oh man, gotta get out of the way. Crazy sedan driver there. All right, should be all right. So as you can see, uh, it's just so wide. So we could barely run this down the, the road and stay on this side of the yellow line. Gotta run pretty careful. Gotta kinda pull off to the side when these cars are coming around. They don't slow down for me. I guess I have to slow down for them. It's really hard when you have the highline poles on the side of the road here, so it's not the easiest to do. Don't want to hit a tree branch and break something. Be a quick way to be unemployed. Jim's field there is on the other side of... I think that's a sugar beet plant? Potato plant? One of the two. I think it's right, we take this turn, we'll unfold these booms. Looks like we're going to have to take about two rounds of this field. Not going to have a hard time. Lower that boom down so we don't get no overspray. Start it up. don't take much time this thing can really go fast so there's a big difference when you have a suspension cab and a suspension air ride seat and everything so you can definitely take the faster speeds in the field so this also has a air ride uh, suspension in it so pretty nice compared to our uh, John Deere 6000, that's for sure.
so good thing this sprayer has a shut off boom section so you can just spray with one side here doesn't take long running down this field man this sprayer holy cow so that this sprayer is probably about five times faster than that our sprayer but there's no way we could afford this big of a sprayer on our current operation maybe one day but don't think if I could afford this sprayer I would be a farmhand let's just say that so it is nice being able to run this nice equipment all right now we are done we'll fold this boom up nice all right so now we will run back to Jim's he just wanted this one field sprayed Put her blinker on again. These cars are not letting me uh, pull out, that's for sure. There we go. And this sprayer so wide just doesn't fit. Worst thing is this sprayer could probably fit right over the top of most of these cars. Maybe that's what we should do. Just like drive down the middle of the road and just drive over them don't have to pass any cars we will just pass right over the top of them so this is kind of a spooky area here because we got the rail right there they are not giving me any extra room over on their side sure i'm glad they don't have a ditch on this side of the road well this sprayer can flat out move on these roads. We caught up to this old station wagon drivers. Usually station wagon drivers aren't known for their speeding. But... Oh, I almost hit that car. He's going to round that corner. Back this up. I guess we don't need the blinkers on. That's probably good. Shut it off. All right, let's go talk to Jim about some money. All right, $12,000. So that's a good old payday for a day's work. Pretty convenient. Maybe a little bit too much, but Jim must really think we are valuable employees. Back this old girl up. Head on back home. Hopefully my cousin got done with no issues. Just love our afternoon drives home. It's such a beautiful country here in Oregon. Man, this place is just so beautiful. Nice little house over here to the side. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Cousin almost ran us right off the road. Can you believe that? Man. Good thing she's working for free. She's gonna damage my truck here one of these days. Man. Must have had too much uh, latte uh, Starbucks this morning. Pull in over here. Make sure we don't hit our... Dog Buck? What? Do you see that? She did not wash the cultivator. Ah, oh, Can't find good help anywhere. But, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.